Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom and I are making island-inspired resin coasters. While my mom mixes our Part A and Part B resin together, I make sure that our silicone molds are clean. Then we start separating our resin into smaller cups to add the pigments. The first pigment that we're going to be using is a Luster Powder pigment in the shade Atlantis from Just Resin. I use a wooden stick to add some into my cup of resin while my mom is adding sand into a different cup. I make sure to mix the pigment into my resin very well and my mom is going to be adding in Ghost Pearls by Deepon into the same cup where she added the sand. The second pigment that we're going to be using is Dark Turquoise, also from Just Resin. I make sure to mix it well in the container before I take a small amount onto my wooden stick and mix into my resin. While I do so, my mom is adding in her Atlantis Luster Powder pigment into her cup. I ended up adding a drop of Casting Craft into my Dark Turquoise pigmented resin so it came out a little bit lighter and then moves on to do the dark turquoise as well. Now we're adding in our white pigment and we're using a few drops of Casting Craft. And I start to pour my darker shade of blue pigmented resin around the edges of my mold. While my mom continues to mix in her pigments and uses tape to make sure that there's no small dust particles in her silicone mold. Then my mom starts pouring her dark turquoise pigmented resin around the edges of her mold and I move on to pour my Atlantis pigmented resin into the center of my molds. She uses a wooden stick to make sure that the resin has reached all of the crevices of the mold. And I take my cup of clear resin and start to pour it directly in the center. Then I take the cup of sand mixed with resin and add that into the center of my molds as well. And my mom starts to pour her Atlantis pigmented resin into her molds. Once my mom starts to pour clear resin into her molds, I start to add shells into the sand area. And then my mom goes and adds sand into the center of her molds as well. I liked the contrast in my mom's work and I wasn't achieving any striations in my coasters so I stole some of my mom's dark turquoise pigmented resin and poured it around the edges of my molds. While I do that, she starts to add in some shells. Then we start to add in our white pigment around the sand area. And we realized that we added too much of the blue pigmented resin because it was starting to all drag into the center and cover the sand area. We tried to clear up the sand area by adding more sand and also by pouring some clear resin into the center Although unfortunately, because we had too much blue pigmented resin, it didn't help much. Which is okay because now we know for next time that we need to add less blue pigmented resin. And instead of being a sunny tropical island, it's a stormy day. And maybe there was a tsunami. We use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and when using a torch gun, make sure that you move it in a very quick manner so that you don't burn your resin or your silicone molds. 
And here's a clip of me demolding the coasters. We added a heat resistant top coat and a champagne trim along the edges. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.